Psychic Twin Sisters Terry and Linda Jamison are doing live readings for women who want to know if they're wasting their time with the men in their lives who they think could possibly be cheaters. Now, Kristen says that she knows her husband already had one affair, but she gave him another chance, and she wants to know if she did the right thing. Okay, so he had an affair how long ago? A couple years ago. We've been married for about five years, so okay. I'd say three years ago. And how did you kind of start getting clues that he was having an affair? Well, the coworker he was working with, um, I would, you know, say hi to her or wave, and at first I just thought she just didn't like me or something, and then he would hesitate to kiss me or hug me in front of her, and that was, I started catching on then. Wow, almost um, like he's cheating on her I by kissing his wife. Yeah, exactly. That's how I felt. Mm -hmm. So then tell me about this, uh, this one night. Um, well, he had taken some medicine to go to sleep with, and um, it, it was kind of like a truth serum for him. He started telling me stuff after I would ask a hundred times, and he, you know, he would say, well, we first, we, we did have an affair, but it was just kissing. And then, a little bit later, it would be, we fold around, and that was hard mm -hmm. for me. And, you know, then it was, we did have an affair, it was a few times, and then it was once, and then it was twice. So for me, I really don't know. It was just back and yeah, forth. Yeah, it was just. And then tell me about what you found on the internet. He was getting on Craigslist, and when we were fighting, he would put in, you know, I just want to find somebody to mess around with on right Craigslist. now. Wow. Kind of thing. Okay, so you wonder if he if he's had more than one affair. That's what your issue is, right? Yeah. Okay, he also has a, a, an addiction. What addiction does he have? Oh my gosh. Um, well, he blames, he is and really it's not drugs, addicted the, the, to porn. The, he's addicted to porn. And okay. I, he kind of mentioned that the reason he had an affair was because of his porn addiction. Um, it was very okay in his family. And for me, I didn't grow up with that. So it was like, I threw it all away when I found it, and I thought it was just something that he did every once in a while. And then I found out that it was a porn addiction, and mm. it was really hard to, like, feel that there's no way I can compete with skinny porn addicts. I just feel like I can't be enough for him. Mm -hmm. I just feel <laughs> horrible, <Aww>. fat. <laughs> Do you know those porn girls? It's almost like not real. It's I know. Like I try to tell myself that, but for him, it's real. Yeah. Well, we're gonna talk to him. Aaron, come on out. Okay. So, Aaron, um, your wife is having trust issues. She's not trusting you. We know you already had one affair. Um, and she's she's wondering if you've had other affairs. So what 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 what, how, what age did you guys get married? You're we eighteen. Eighteen, yeah. so very very young. Well, we dated for like eight and a half weeks before we got married. Eight and a half weeks. Yeah, it was really quick. It was really wow, quick. it was very fast. So you fell in love very fast. Very yeah. fast. Okay, yeah. so is that why you decided to have an affair? Do you think you felt like you married too young, or? Well, that was kind of part of it. Another part of it was that before I was with her, I was only with one other woman, so I didn't really get to experience, you know, a whole lot of, of that. So mm -hmm. I think that kind of played into it a lot. Okay, and, and there was a lot of responsibility. Of being a time. married man. Being married and yes. having children, so. And tell me about the, your addiction. When I was raised, uh, my mom had like a subscription to Playboy. So growing up, it, it wasn't something that uh, I thought was bad, you know. So I just kind of did it and. I didn't think it was bad. When I met Kristen, um, we never really had a discussion about, you know, how bad it was or that she didn't like it. After so many times of having problems with it, you know, I realized that it was hurting her. So I am working on it now. You know, we've been through some 12-step programs. Wow. And how often were you watching the porn before? Oh, it was a daily thing. Uh, Every magazines, day. pictures, yeah, internet, really? whatever. Okay. It was... So let's go back to the affairs. Okay, so you had one affair. You're saying only one? Just one, yeah. Stand by that. Stand by it, yep. Okay. Um, she said you were picking up women on Craigslist and saying you want to hook up right now. What was that about? Did you have an affair with anybody off of Craigslist? No, not, not off of Craigslist. And that was kind of a, we were kind of in a fight and she had me leave the house and said that she never wanted to see me again. So I kind of took that a little bit too literally, which I've learned well, not to do. I told him if he left, he couldn't come back. Yeah, so uh, at the point, uh, you know, I was like, 
well, I'm hurting, so this might make me feel better, so let's try it. And nothing ever came from it. So I did you ever meet up. any women? No. Go on a date? Nothing. No Starbucks? Never, nothing? No. Never okay. even responded to any messages. So. Okay. So when we come back, we're going to uh, have Terry and Linda have been listening to all of this, and they've been doing their scribble thing. Um, sorry, what is it called again? Automatic writing. Automatic writing. Right. And um, when we come back, they're going to tell us if he is telling the truth with their automatic writing. Excuse me. We'll be right back. husband Aaron had years ago has destroyed her trust and she's not sure she can ever get that trust back. She also has some questions about things he's been doing on Craigslist. Um, so we'll see. Twin sisters Terry and Linda, they've never met Kristen and Aaron, um, but they're about to give their on the spot live psychic real life lie detector test right now. <laughs> What do you think about their relationship? Well, Tyra, there are two kinds of men. Men that, that like porn and men that really, really like porn. Okay? <laughs> and I just feel like you really, really like porn. But I feel like you're working on it. I want you to stay in the 12-step. I feel like you guys have a chance. I do, too. You I have to too. forgive him. You have to forgive yourself, yes. Aaron. Let yourself, let yourself off the hook, Aaron, because you're punishing yourself. That never works. You guys have a wonderful relationship, and we see a future for you. Have they, has he had more than one affair or not? That's what she wants to know. I feel he's... like he has. Wow. I feel he's also emotionally cheating, as we talked about before. When you, whenever you go trolling online for women or men, yeah. that is emotional cheating. It's turning away from the relationship to try to find a solution outside, and that mm. never works, you guys. But you can learn how to deal with this. You guys can learn so how to Aaron, communicate. So, Aaron, didn't, you didn't say that they were not correct about well, more than one. They're not. It's just I had the one affair, and that, you know, that was it. There hasn't been any others. And there won't be any other. No kiss, no nothing. No, no. Maybe emotional affairs with you know pornography and visual affairs, but nothing mm -hmm. sexual, you know, mm -hmm. physical, you know, with another person. You're still kind of crying as he says no. What? Why? It's just hard. I want to believe. He's always been a really convincing liar about stuff, you know. What is your gut feeling of if he had more than one affair? What is the feeling inside when you lay awake at night? Not the paranoia thing. I think something more has happened. You than feel just with her, yeah. Trust that instinct. Trust that instinct. Trust yeah. that gut instinct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then tell me about the, the Craigslist. Is he telling the truth about not connecting with anybody on Craigslist? Don't feel a sexual hookup. I, I do feel emotional. It's more emotional, but yeah. still, again, that's cheating. It's like porn. Emotional it's in a cheating. escape. Yeah. That's what it is. You're escaping yeah. the intimacy. You're just afraid of intimacy. Yes, that's, that's right. All. That's right. Well, I mean, I never met with anybody on the Craigslist or anything like that. Um, the whole time that we were apart was like three days, and um, I don't even think I went on Craigslist until like the third day. So I probably would have met up with somebody had we been apart for longer, mm -hmm. but we got back together right after that, and that was it. Well, there's a danger of your cheating again if you do not commit to a 12-step program and stay in it. And we're talking about maybe a year or more. Mm. It's not enough just to go a couple times and say, okay, I did that. That's, that's not 12 did. steps, that's two of... steps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So are you willing to do that? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So if they do this 12-step yeah, program, if they get some counseling, you think you There's recommend hope for them. I together? Think there is hope yeah. for you. Yeah. I do too, There's actually. There's a lot of love there. Absolutely. I do see it. But listen to the gut, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so All listen to our gut all the time. And you listen to yours too, Aaron. Tune in. Right? Yeah, tune in. Um, we have an audience. Uh, somebody in the audience wants some advice from our twins. What do you, oh, what's your okay. question? Hi, my name's Jaleesa. I'm currently seeing someone. Um, but when we're intimate, um, I kind of say my ex-boyfriend's name. Is that a sign? You say your ex-boyfriend's name when yeah. you're intimate with a new one? I'm oh. sure he loves that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bad sign, uh, I would say. <laughs> you say the ex-boyfriend's name. Yeah. Yeah. And what does the guy that you're with say? Um, he, I don't think he really pays attention too much <laughs> to it. <laughs> but I just want to know before if it turns into a really big problem, like, what should I do? Well, the guy you're with, I don't see it being that long-term anyway, but... Yeah. You know, I, I really don't see this no. as being that big of a problem. Okay. What's your question? Hi, my name's Emma, and I have a boyfriend, and we've been dating for a while. Okay. And one time when he was in the shower, I looked at his phone, and I saw a random number. So I called it, and a girl answered, and then she hung up. Do you think I should be worried about him cheating on me? 
Yes, I think you should yes. worry. Oh, Absolutely. she hung up. Ooh. Because she thought it was your man and it was you, and she knew exactly what was going on. <laughs> she should have just pretended to be I like, know. oh my God, yeah, he's my friend. Yeah, yeah. We totally hang out. And she showed you her colors. She's and showed a bad the liar, right? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. He's and not being honest with you, Emma, so take a yeah. deeper look. Are you, you're not living with him, I hope? No. We're good. Not. Do not move in with him. Oh. Yeah. Okay. She's right. a bad liar and he's a good liar. Yeah. Right? <laughs> we'll be right back.